Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering a heap of new crafts, tasks, uh, some other random changes. Just keep you up to date with what's been going on in Tarkov in the past pretty much week or two. There's been a lot of little tiny updates and changes and I just thought, you know, I didn't really want to just make one or two, three, four videos of like, that'll be like two minutes long. I waited till there was a few changes together to whack it all together and keep you up to date. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So hot off the press, I was actually close to publishing this video and um, this got data mined from the game. The SJ9 stim uh, has been data mined, which is a counteract to the thermal sights and goals that are in the game. Um, we don't know how you, you'll actually obtain this. My assumption would be labs and maybe a craft or something like that. But uh, its its whole purpose is to stop your, to, or to lower your body temperature so you can't be seen by thermal sights. So the way it works, you pop it. And then two seconds later, you'll have a uh, five minute deduction in body temperature and thermal sites will be more difficult to see you and you'll have a lower metabolism at this stage. Now, obviously this is not in the game yet, so we don't know if this will change. It'll be potentially subject to change and um, we'll have to wait and see, but it's really cool to see that steam coming into the game. I don't think I'll be ever using it, but I know there's some people out there that are like, you know, big on anti-thermal sites and it'll be there. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So first up, there's been a heap of new crafts added to the hideout. Um, if you haven't been upgrading your hideout, there is so much money you could be making on your hideout, plus some of the benefits of uh, being able to level up your skills faster. So it is definitely worth going down that path. It does take a little bit of time, but uh, there has been a heap of new crafts added. Um, starting with the Intel Center, you can now... Oh, the sorry, there's been some changes as well as new ones. So with the RFID, you no longer need a Vertex for this craft. Um, it's needed for one of the quests and a lot of people have been doing the craft instead. And Vertex has skyrocketed in prices. They're about a million rubles each. Um, so you no longer need that Vertex for the RFID. And uh, so I think though Vertexes will probably go down a little bit in value. And um, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to get that RFID. Moving over to Intel level 3. Uh, there is a few new crafts here. The 11SR card has been added. Um, this is the one that re is required to go through the, um, I guess the bathroom swipe extract from interchange and you can go out through the safe room down the bottom of interchange pretty cool extract to be able to have um generally these keys sell for between 1 and 1 1.5 million rubles working out to be about um you know 75 to 100k per extract definitely worth grabbing one of these cards if you can as for the craft itself probably not worth it right now uh it it really comes down to we'll see where these prices i, I don't, don't want to go go into too much detail if the crafts are worth doing um, mostly because prices will fluctuate very heavily over the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, so just take it as a grain of salt. And um, if you do feel like it's worth going for in the future, then go for it. Next one added is the Violet card. Now, um, this craft at the moment is a waste of money. Uh, it's like three yellow cards, uh, 12 lab cards, and then um, there's a like half a dozen to a dozen uh, Intel, uh, Intel docs needed for this craft. So it's cost you about 7 million rubles at current prices. So keep an eye on this one over time. It's about the same cost to make one as it is to buy one on the flea market. Uh, the yellow key cards shot up. They're, they're, you need three for this craft and they shot up from like the base of 75k to 1 million rubles per card. So at the moment, um, I think in about two days time when these start like coming out of the uh, out of the hideout and then go up on the flea market, these cards are going to uh, drop in price rapidly. And then yellow cards will drop in price rapidly too. So if you want to get yourself a violet card, hold out for a little bit and just do the craft in probably about a week's time. And you'll probably save yourself a lot of money and it'll be a lot cheaper to be able to do. Um, as for the actual violet room itself, I probably make around 100 to 200,000 rubles in uh, sites and suppressors every time I go in there. So it's um, it's not really the greatest room on labs, but it does supplement your runs a lot, particularly if you go in as a group. They also changed the Intel folder craft. Uh, it does need a paper there now instead, uh, as well as the three flash drives. So I was just doing this to help level up my crafting skill. I'm, I'm in the level 30s now, um, and I was just one of the ones I was ticking over because uh, it's pretty cheap. Flash drives cost nearly nothing. So uh, Intel folders for uh, three flash drives and a paper now. So uh, worth doing still, but it's a, uh, you know, it's one of those things that's just... I guess it's just adding a little bit more use for the paper because at the moment I've been turning that into toilet paper in the uh, in the lavatory. Over to the med station, there is the new antidote uh, that is required for the cultists um, and you can craft them in the med station. That's at med station level two. 
As for the workbench, a couple of new crafts and a change. So the magnet is now new there. All you need is a hard drive for this one. Very straightforward and simple. Um, and I think this will be a really good craft that if you just want to level up your crafting skill, um, you can turn hard drives into magnets. Magnets are actually sitting quite valuable at the moment, around 20 to 25k. Um, as I said, these changes the prices are going to change. So don't don't take these too heavily, particularly if you're watching this in like a week's time. But hard drives are usually around the 10k mark. So you can even make profit on this. Not that you'd be like going crazy with that, but it's a good way to help level up your crafting skill if you're trying to get to max level. Workbench level two. Uh, you now have the military circuit board. These um, military circuit boards were skyrocketing in price. We'll have to wait and see where this values out, um, if it's worthwhile as a craft, but uh, you can now make them in the workbench level two. And then workbench level three, one of the crafts that I was doing a lot of was um, I'd be making green gunpowder in the workbench, and then I'd be turning that green gunpowder into the BP ammo, the uh, 762 by 39 BP ammo. Um, this now requires a blue gunpowder as well. So two green and one blue, whereas previously it was just two green. Over to the lavatory, Keck tape has skyrocketed in prices of recent, um, usually sitting between 50 and 100K. And now you can craft them in the lavatory if you want to. Um, and it's just a new craft over there. Next up, we have a new task added to Jaeger. Now, I do believe this will probably be unlocked once you do the hunting trip task. I can't confirm that because I've already done that task. Um, but it is required to kill Sturman 25 times on wood. When it first came out, it said 30. Now it says 25, but it is bugged at the moment. I've killed him four times uh, earlier today. I've been talking to um, Battlestate Games as well, uh, giving him feedback on the task still not working properly. Um, but eventually, you'll need to kill him 25 times to unlock the uh, 338 Lapua uh, sniper rifle. A DMR, really. It's not a sniper rifle. Uh, and there is a hidden unknown reward. Unsure what it is. It's not Sturman's jacket. So just to be clear with that, it's definitely not Sturman's jacket. And the reason behind me knowing this is if you go to the uh, the Ragman services to look at all the clothing, there's no clothing unlockable at the moment that says Sturman's jacket and uh, the quest locked behind it. So even when we can do this quest, don't think of it, you're going to get the Sturman's jacket. Who knows what it is? I'll have to wait and see. But yeah, 25 kills on Sturman to unlock the 338, which I actually think, um, just putting my own two cents in, I actually think this is a good idea because at the moment, as soon as you get Jaeger level four, you could buy this um, and it should be like a rare item. Um, but this item, I, I suppose this kind of goes into another topic for other changes, but this, uh, the 338 you can now find in the marked room as well as the uh, grenade launcher can be found in the marked room as well. So um, you can find them in world spawns, but it is locked behind a quest now. So the cool thing about that, in my opinion, is the ammunition uh, is really expensive, like 25,000 rubles around for the AP ammo, which will one-shot a slick armor in the thorax. Um, the... If, if everyone could easily buy this gun, then those ammos just really do skyrocket in price. Like, I, I'm spending somewhere between 400,000 and a million rubles just in ammunition to do a woods run, right? And that's taking in like 30 rounds. <laughs> Crazy. Um, but it is fun to use. Um, so, at least if there's like a little limitation on how frequently people can buy this instead of just getting to a certain level, um, it will make that ammunition a little bit more stable at a bit more of a reasonable price. Because whilst 20,000 rubles for a one shotting ammo, uh is somewhat i guess reasonable um it can very quickly become extremely expensive to the point where you know you're not even you can't even meme the run at all because of the fact that uh, the gun's 240k you take in 600,000 rubles of ammo you shoot five scavs you've already gone through 200k of ammo and you know it's like it's it's to the point where it's almost a little bit ridiculous it's like kind of where that t7 thermal site's sitting so just my two cents there. I don't think it's actually the uh, it's the worst thing in the world to have it locked behind a quest because then it will actually make um, the gun a little bit rarer, which means the ammunition, will, which by the way, it's only found in raid the AP ammo. Um, it will make the ammunition a little bit more feasible to be able to buy. Next up, I'm just going to touch on some other changes that happened over the past week or two. You might have already heard about some of these. I'll just give my, my two cents to add in on the top of this. Um, the Val ammo has had a buff. It got really heavily nerfed over the last few patches and, and wipes. Um, mostly because everyone was just using it because how cheap it was and how accurate. The accuracy side of things, it's still been like nerfed in the accuracy way. Um, it used to be like an absolute laser beam and it's not like that anymore. Um, but the uh, penetration on all the rounds has been up. So it, it has made the gun a little bit more viable again. I do believe it should be a really devastating gun. But also we don't want to see it as the only gun in the game that people are using. Because then that kind of makes the game a little bit monotonous and boring. So um, it, it probably was needed. It's done anyway, who cares? So um, we'll deal with that. Now, the ergo on the majority of the guns and also arm stamina has been absolutely nerfed throughout the throughout the, the wazoo. 
So a uh, majority of modifications of guns have been nerfed. Therefore, when you aim down the site, you uh, drain your stamina. On top of that, the also you drain stamina more. On top of that, they have also made it that aiming down sites, draining your stamina a lot faster as well. So these stacked on top of each other, you will be able to aim down your site now for probably 10 to 20 seconds. And then you're like, I'm out of arm stamina. So it's probably in the middle of like, we're trying to figure out the right position for this. But um, depending on how tanky you are as a human being, you can actually hold a gun up um, in, a, in a fixed position for sight quite, for quite a while, uh, particularly if you've actually been trained on and practiced it. So uh, I, I guess there's probably going to be a little bit more wiggle, wiggle room on, on that. Um, but I have to wait and see. BSG generally does play around these numbers a lot. But if you're wondering why you're draining all your stamina really fast in your arms, that is why. It's because they actually changed it. And um, the last one that's been a very controversial topic, I don't know why it's been so controversial and everyone's so passionate about it, is Vas Vaseline's got changed from 10 of 10 uses down to 6 of 6 uses. Now, and I explained this in, in this way. So uh, if you go by like order of best to worst, um, I would say that ibuprofen is probably the worst out of the uh, out of the stims or the, the, the painkillers. And that has 12 uses. The Vaseline has six uses. And the reason why the um, ibuprofen is worse is it, uh, it drains 15 hydration. Vaseline drains, uh, I think it's five hydration, five energy. And then the Golden Star drains, uh, I think it's 10 hydration. It gives you five energy and five hyd hydration back. Um, and the Golden Star goes for the longest period of time. Now, Golden Star is still at its uh, original value. And I do believe this one's probably going to change maybe maybe not but if i was to say if the order of best to worst um and would have fewer uses maybe golden star will actually take a bit of a tank there um I, that's me just assuming i probably shouldn't even say that because you know it probably puts it out in the universe so don't at me when this happens or if it happens but i would just imagine that um you'd have to take the hit you need to have more uses but a little bit more penalty to it by the way ibuprofen having that penalty is actually a good way to level up your metabolism skill so you pop an ibuprofen you lose your 15 hydration, you drink like a apple juice, and then you drink, you got that hydration back and you level up your metabolism for that raid. And you'll probably get like two or three skill points for doing it. So up to you if you want to do that method, but um, just a little tip for young players. Talking about that kind of stuff also, I will be doing uh, a heap of guides coming out very soon. Uh, I'm actually working on filming them as, as uh, like at the moment, but there will be a new guide going out covering all the skills again, because a lot of them have changed. And I've got a lot of guides coming out doing all the tasks and stuff again. So busy stuff for uh, the upcoming weeks. I'm sorry that it, it's kind of a little bit slower than I would be hoping, but it's just there's so much to cover and I've got so much I want to talk to you guys about. And um, I'm also trying to live a life a little bit more um, this year. So that's my aim at least. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I'll try to keep it as short and sweet as possible, giving you as much information as I can and also giving my little bit of opinion where I could. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, plenty of guys coming out, guys coming out and the raid series is Monday to Friday. So make sure... Uh, if you're interested in learning the game and how I play through it all the way up to a Kappa container, I've got a new little format, this uh, white, where I go focus on tasking, money making, and also qu uh, PVP. So you can actually see the perspectives and information on each of those things. So uh, go check out the race series. Um, it's a it's a really informative way. We put a lot of time and effort into it and I do appreciate it. If you guys do check it out, um, usual drill guys for my videos, like uh, and comment if you can, if you enjoyed it, if you liked anyone's videos in anywhere on the YouTube, on the YouTube universe, Make sure you do like, comment. It does really help out with discoverability. Um, and then also subscribe, notification bell, if you want to keep up to date with everything that's been going on uh, with my YouTube side. So um, besides that, guys, I do stream on Twitch. I'm taking a few days off in about a week's time for uh, a family reunion. And uh, besides that, guys, lastly, I'll see you next time. Lastly, I'll see you next time. <laughs>